Now today we will be discussing about the blood group that is the AVO classification and RH classification and we will also talk about the hydrocytosis that is hemolytic disease of newborn and also the AVO incompatibility. Okay, so this is a very basic and very important topic concept for dealing with the uh, blood transfusion and uh, like uh, there will be a question about the hydrospitalis and ABO incompatibility and also you have to have a basic idea of blood, blood transfusion because blood transfusion has been now uh, occurring very commonly and you need to have as a medical doctor you need to have uh, some idea about it okay so let's begin <clears throat> we are talking about the blood groups you know that the blood groups are uh, we will talk about the ABO classification and RS classification in ABO classification, the blood groups are divided into the blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB and blood group O. So there are four, A, B, AB and O. And among them, you can put RS classification that is RS positive or RS negative. That may be AB, A positive or A negative, B positive or B negative, AB positive or AB negative, O positive or O negative. This is the way we are usually dealing with the bl blood groups. Okay. Now, what you need to understand is, now suppose a person has a blood group A. What does that mean? A blood group A means that the RBC of that portion, suppose I have a blood group A. So, in my RBC, the, there is an RBC. In that RBC, there is an antigen. Okay, and that is A. So, if I am a blood group A, means I have antigen A on my RBC surface. That is the indication of giving A, A, blood group A. Okay, so blood group A means A antigen on the surface and A antigen in the surface means that they can't produce anti-A in the body. You have to understood that since A antigen is there, in my blood A antigen is there, if I can, if there is, if anyhow anti-A comes in my blood or my body forms it, then this antigen and antibody will cross react and lysis the RBC that you have to understand okay so we, I can only afford and if I have antigen A then I cannot afford to have antibody against this that is anti A I cannot afford so in blood group A there will be antigen A on the RBC surface but no anti A that antibody against this antigen will be not present in that portion so there will be only anti B that anti A body against the other blood group B will be present okay I will again revise it this is very important you have to understand any person having blood group A means that there are antigen present on the RBC is A that is clear now the, what will be the antibody that what will be the antibody that is present on the plasma look this is group antigen on the RBC surface so in the RBC surface you are going to have antigen A since there is an antigen on your RBC surface now in plasma you cannot afford to have antibody against this antigen okay so you cannot afford to have this anti A on your plasma so what will be the antibodies in your plasma only and that will be not anti A but anti B only you will say how this antibody is comes from why this comes from these are actually made by the your gut flora then just the bacteria that is present in your intestine they make this antibody if they found that the blood pressure is blood group a so they cannot make anti a okay that you have to understand if the patient is b then they will not make anti b they will make only anti a okay that is important so antibody in the plasma uh, like let will be anti b and what will be the clinical relevance if any receive blood group B or AB, then there will be the hemolytic reaction. I'll come to that. So let's, if you have understood this, the same pattern will follow up in all the cases. RBC type, a person is a blood group A. So what will be the antigen? There will be on the RBC the group surface antigen will be A. Since A is the surface antigen, there will be no anti A antibody. The antibody, only antibody body and effort will be uh, anti B. Okay, and anti B is present. Okay, now comes to the blood group B. Suppose I have a blood group B, then what will be the what will be the group surface antigen on the RBC surface? Obviously B. Because of that, it has name as the B. There has the surface antigen it has name as the A. Since there is a B antigen, 
now you cannot afford to have B antibody. So you can only afford to have A antibody. So A antibody will be there. Since there is A antibody but no B antibody, this A antibody will not going to bind and with this B antigen. There are two different things. Okay, if there will be antigen A and there will be antibody A, then this reaction will occur. But if there is B antigen, the body, the intestinal flora will make only anti A. Okay, and this both are the IgM type. Right? If a person has AB blood group, what does that mean? AB blood group means both antigen is present on the RBC. Okay, now the body cannot afford any antibody in the plasma because either A antibody comes or B antibody comes, both antigen is there. Okay, now if there is any of this, then they will go and react. There will be always, you know, in the classical pathway, if you are not understanding that. Uh, after this we'll, uh, lecture, we will resume to the microbiology part and immunology part and we will talk about it because that is very important. Okay, so NDA and NDB, this antibody, if any one of you will be present here, they will go and react with the antigen. So there is an antibody, anti, anti, antigen antibody reaction and the activation of the classical pathway. Okay, the complement pathway and in the end product of the complement pathway is the MAC that will get drilled to the RBC and RBC will be lysed. So, if there is a heavy blood group in the hyes of our plasma, antibody will be none, zero. Okay, now comes to the <coughs> O group. If a person is a O group, suppose I am an O blood group, then I have no any surface antigen on the RBC. So, there is none antigen. If there is none antigen, no antibody in the RBC, no antigen on the RBC, then I can afford to have any antibody. So both antibody will be present in the body because the flow will make it. Okay. So NDA and NTP both will be present in your blood, in your plasma. Non-antigen on the RBC surface. That is all. Okay. So <clears throat> now let's move what will be the problem. If a person is blood group A and by mistake, which will occur in the past time, nowadays it doesn't occur. And if you are a medical doctor and if you are not uh, know the person blood group and if you are in <clears throat> giving anybody blood blindly then what will happen actually this should be not a practice this is not occur out nowadays because we have a lot of advanced we have a um, <clears throat> blood bank lab we have a lab supports that will easily determine the blood group and know what is the blood group of the patient and what he needs okay but if any chance what happened if the blood group A patient you give blood group B or AB, what will be the condition, okay. <clears throat> suppose blood group A patient received B or AB, suppose I have, I am A group and I have received B or AB, suppose B I have received, now what will happen, this is A, on my surface antigen there is A, in my plasma there is anti B, now you have given this in my blood, this in my body, now this RBC comes in my body, okay. <clears throat> they what they said they found they found that antibody in the plasma is there this antibody found that okay i got my antigen so this antibody is going to attack this combine with this antigen <clears throat> sorry and form the antigen antibody complex activate the classical pathway complement pathway and damage this antigen so what happened now look you have i am a blood group a you have given me blood group b okay then the thing is that the blood, the RBC which you have given to me is damaged and lysed by the antibody present in my body. So I am in a shock. So I suppose somebody is in a shock. There's you have given the RBC, you have given the blood. Now the what happened? The blood which you have given has already been lysed. And once the complete pathway is activated and lysed all the RBC, so there is no RBC. What you have tried is all the waste on the Collateral damage side, when the complement pathway activate, there is the release of other component like C3A, C5A, these are the chemotaxics and vasodilator property. They dilate the vessel and further decrease the blood pressure and patient diet. So you should be remember if a patient you always give blood when there is a necessary of that, then the severe hemorrhage, the loss, the patient is in shock, then you are giving supporting your the transfusion of blood. But if you are mistakenly giving another then that will aggravate the patient condition and patient will die. You understood that much point. So it is very clear. Look, you have one type of, you have a blood group, you cannot give, if you have given this, because of why it has really occurred this situation. Suppose the person has a blood group B. Now what we meant, receive AB or A or AB. 
then there will be homotopy reaction of same thing b is there surface antigen is this so no problem now antibody in the plasma is a now you have uh, unfortunately give the a and blood group this rbc has the a antigen and in your plasma there is anti a antibody is there this will react with this and lysis this all rbc that you have given from outside again there will be the all the rbc already has gone lysed and again the complement pathway the end product will aggravate the soft and patient will die similarly if you are given the ab blood group ab blood group is given to a person look there is a so antigen is a here both antigen is present okay now the antibody present in your plasma is anti b suppose you have given this since there is both antigen you will not think you will do with to the a antigen because it has not anti b body against the a but it has antibody against the a b so what happened this antibody will react with this antigen and cause the lysis of the rbc <clears throat> so you cannot give it is you cannot afford to give a patient who is having blood group a either b or a anyone if you give b <clears throat> all the rbc lies if you give a b also there are the mix of the antigen so they will also lysis the rbc same condition will be in the b blood group if a person is b blood group he has b uh, antigen there is nothing a problem but the antibody is in the plasma is a now you have given this there is both antigen a and b both are present here is the antibody a this anti a will react with only this anti antigen of a and form the complement pathway activate and damage the rbc so either opposite if a person you cannot give b or a b if a b blood group you cannot give a or ab now comes to the <coughs> ab group this ab group is universal recipient of the rbc means that since there has non antibody in the plasma now there is no antibody since there is no antibody in the plasma you can give any antigen you can give a you can give b okay no problem so these are universal recipient of the rbc so any person with a blood group ab you can give rbc without a problem if i am a blood group ab and uh, i i am a very severe in the shock and the, anybody is going to die so what you can do you even don't check the blood group if you have a rbc because it will take time for few 5 to 10 minutes for it takes around 2 to 3 minutes for blood grouping and cross matching it takes about 32 hour so that will be a delay time if you are thinking and if a patient is ab blood group you can give rbc only the rbc blindly no problem because these are the universal recipient of the rbc you don't need to check anything if a patient but you need to understand the patient is ab or not if person is ab blood group no problem just give without checking also you can give universal because they are universal recipient of rbc you can give rbc no problem okay and the universal rose donor of plasma if you need to transfuse plasma to anybody so this group of blood this group of person there is not antibody in their plasma so their plasma can be taken and given to anybody that you have understood so every blood group can take rbc from anybody and give plasma to anybody that you have understood okay now <clears throat> o blood group there is no antigen so the both antibody is present in the body that receive any non o hemolytic if receive any non o group so if if it is a if it is b or if it is ab because if you are giving a blood group means you are giving a antigen to that person if you are giving b a blood group means you are giving b antigen in that person if you are giving ab blood group means they are giving ab blood group in ab antigen to the person and they have both antibody if you give a this antigen and antibody will react and cause hemolysis okay if you give blood group b b antigen and b antibody will be react and cause hemorrhagic hemorrhagic reaction if you give ab then both antigen will there both antibody is there again it will cause hemolytic reaction you are understanding this point so you cannot afford to give any a b or ab blood group to the o positive o blood group patient that is you have to be clear okay now since this cannot receive any only receive the o only the problem the point is that they are universal recipient of the plasma and universal donor of the rbc look like ab blood group if a person is ab blood group he need the blood he, and rbc can given to him without any check okay like that if a person is o okay so because i am o now i can donate my rbc to anybody without any check 
they are universal received with the plasma, universal donor of the RBC. So, O blood group, I am o, actually O blood group patient, a person. So, what will do? I can donate my RBC to anybody because I don't have any antigen in the body. So, if there I can donate anybody, there is whatever antibody is in his or her body, there is no problem. So, O can be universal donor of RBC that you have to understand. And I can receive universal received of plasma means I can receive plasma from anybody because I have both antibody. Whatever you give, I have already have in my body. I have already antibody present in my body. So whatever antibody will be put, that is no problem. Only is the problem if you put antigen, if you put an RBC inside me, there is a problem. But my RBC you can give to anyone. So O blood group, RBC can be given to anyone. Okay? And they can O blood group can receive the plasma from anyone, but you cannot give antigen like A blood group, B blood group, A B group to the O person. That you have to be clear. I think you have been clear. Don't be confused. It is so simple that there is a blood group. Okay, so the blood group is because of their antigen. What anti? If you am A, then I will not have A. I will have a B antibody. That you have. I have A antigen and B antibody. Similarly, if I am B, I have a B antigen, A antibody. If I am AB, so I have both antigen, so no antibody. If I am O, so no antigen, I have both antibody. Now you have to just remember that since I have an antibody, okay, so I cannot afford to have any antigen inside me, inside me. So this is both antibody, so I cannot afford to have any blood group because antigen will come, antibody, antibody, antigen antibody reaction will occur and damage will occur. So if there is anti-B, so I cannot afford to have antigen of B. If anti is present, I cannot afford to have anti. If none is there, so I can receive any blood. So I can receive A, I can receive B, I can receive okay, A, B. no problem. Okay. So universal recipient of RBC, I can receive any RBC. Okay. Even I can receive uh, this RBC. Okay, because there is no antigen. So if there is no antigen, no problem. Okay. But I cannot receive the blood. Placent, this, this is universal donor of plasma and universal recipient of RBC that you have to understand. Okay, this O is universal donor of RBC. You can donate RBC to anybody. You can donate either RBC to AB, it to B, it to A, anybody. Okay. Now coming to the RH compatibility and RH positive. This AB you can be A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative. This is the presence of this RH D factor. Okay. And if RSG factor is positive, it is positive, present, means that there is no same like this antigen is present. So, since this antigen is present, you cannot afford to have antibody. In negative, suppose AB negative, AB negative, or A negative, there is no this antigen on their surface. So, they are known as negative. Since there is negative, they can they, they can afford to have this anti D in their blood. You have to understand that. They can. But it is not usually present in their blood. Okay, it is usually occur when they exposed to something. I'll explain about that hydrospinosis. Okay, so <clears throat> you have understood the problem. You have you have to understand two more thing is this is the IgM type and this is the IgG type. Since this if, if this is formed, then IgG can transfer it to the placenta, goes to the baby, and then forget you have. I think you have understood about it. Let's. Uh, we'll discuss more detail about RH incompatibility and ABO incompatibility later, but I'll just <coughs> briefly discuss over here so that you can understand. Okay, suppose a patient, a mother is negative, RH negative mother, so there is non antigen on her blood. So, in plasma, they, she can afford, she can make this IV NTD. Okay, she can, but it is not usually present. Suppose a mother is there, mother is RH negative, and a Husband is RS positive. So baby can be RS positive. If a baby is RS positive, now there is no problem with husband. This is only about the mother and the baby. Mother is RS negative, baby has become RS positive. Okay. So if a baby is RS positive, in the first pregnancy, during <coughs> during what happened, any times during delivery, there is a tear of the blood. Tear, so placenta separation, there is a sum of the amount of the blood of the baby can go into the maternal circulation. You know that there is in the placenta circulation there is a clear gap. The blood usually doesn't transfer from the baby to the mother. But during delivery, due to the separation of placenta, there can be a uh, miscarriage. Due to that also, the baby, which is RS positive, can enter into the maternal blood. 
if it is entered in the maternal blood maternal mother is rh negative so there is no antigen okay no antibody actually now but since they have found the <coughs> rh positive rbc coming the body will take it as for make make antibody against it and keep inside the body now this first pregnancy has already occurred or has no effect of rh incompatibility or heterosexuality there is no problem because first baby is born the mother is sensitized by the first baby now if subsequent baby <coughs> mother has already this igg entity now if second baby will occur this entity igg entity will cross the placenta and damage the baby from initial stage okay very big and now the all the rbc this look this igg is there this antibody is there now if baby is positive with this antigen any blood group so what will happen that will damage this antigen and if the antigen antibody reaction will occur there will be a complement pathway and it will lysis the rbc so from beginning this process is going on because the mother has this igg anti igg in her blood and this occurs in the subsequent pregnancy first pregnancy is always safe so what happened now in second or third pregnancy this igg will go to damage it okay and the second and third pregnancy will be lost will develop hydrocephalus this is very simple okay now the, what is the problem if you give this anti d igg uh, this rogam rogam is anti d igg okay so why you are giving now since mother in mother there is no this formation of anti d now if baby rbc comes into the blood in the maternal circulation and if they found this initially then that rbc that antigen that antigen will be get caught by this antibody and complement reaction and will be lysed so any exposure will be not made to the matter circulation of matter body because of that you have to give this rogam at 28 weeks of the pregnancy and immediately after delivery okay so why we have given because if any chance if any chance the rbc of the baby comes in the matter circulation this is already present and it is going to kill it is going to lyse that rbc of the baby and because of that what will happen mother will be not sensitized then in next pregnancy same thing will happen okay again you have to uh, take care of it since this is uh, this there is no uh, igg formation in her blood so that will be again be no problem to the baby okay again that pregnancy also we have to give this rogam if you are have want to have a subsequent pregnancy that is we have to understand if you are talking about the abu incompatibility abu incompatibility occurs in the blood group of mother o so if a mother is old and baby is ab or a ab what is happening look in mother there is the no antigen of rbc but in the plasma this is anti a and anti b sometime in the mother this anti a antibody can be formed may be formed into the igg now if, if baby is a blood group what is this this plasma if it is normally it is igm but sometime it can be igg can be form igg and that can transfer to the plasma and if it goes into the baby the baby is having a antigen but this has though both antibody so this antibody a antibody b will not do nothing but antibody a will come and react with this and again it will be the complement and again damage the baby but the problem of abu incompatibility is mother to have mother is necessary to have o mother blood group should be o baby can be ab or anything okay if mother baby is o no problem but if the baby is a b or ab now this antibody may transfer into the baby and can cause damage to the rbc but the damage is so small so there is no necessary to be afraid this can occur in only the first pregnancy like rh incompatibility it occurs it is safe in first pregnancy and occurs in subsequent uh, problem is in subsequent pregnancy but in this abu compatibility only in the first pregnancy you have to be you have to be aware you have to be serious you have to be cautious because in only the any female who is a o positive or o negative this is o blood group then in her first child there is a chance of having this abu incompatibility and for that reason you have to be aware the problem is that abu incompatibility there will only the mild damage of the rbc because of that within the first 24 hour of your uh, birth the baby can develop jaundice will develop jaundice actually and for that you have to you have to be prepared in the mind if you are o 
our blood group mother then your baby will be have a viewing compatibility and you have to be prepared and there will be zombies and zombies can be usually take care, of, take care by the phototherapy and exchange transfusion so it is just for your first pregnancy after subsequently there is no aggravation there is no further damage and you are safe hope this has become a long but have very helpful and basic topic thank you